if you find yourself getting physical pretty quickly when you meet people and I'm talking about on the first date or second date you kind of always feel yourself getting physical kissing making out having oral sex having sex whatever um, anything like that um, and you're comfortable doing that and I, this is this episode is really for you okay and this could also be your probably you, you may be dating people that could also be doing this and instead of talking they're you know and this is so funny because i was talking to one of my clients and it came out of my mouth and i was like oh my god and we both laughed and she's like you gotta do a podcast episode about this because it's like um i don't feel like talking um but i do feel like fucking <laughs> so it sounds like how does that make sense some people are more comfortable having sex instead of talking and this is a huge sign okay this is like wait a second what is going on you feel more comfortable taking off your clothes getting intimate with somebody that you barely know because you haven't really talked to them you haven't really asked the questions you haven't asked many questions that are that that really go under the surface and give that space to emotionally connect you don't feel comfortable you feel comfortable getting naked with them doing whatever you want to do with them but like when it comes to talking you're like not so much this is where i truly hope you listen and take a step and reflect like wait a second why am i not comfortable talking about certain things why are you feeling like oh my god i i, I don't want to get vulnerable i don't want to get emotional i don't want to talk about that i don't want to talk about my that situation i don't want to talk about my ex i don't want to talk about my family but i'm willing to have sex with you like for sure that's easy it is so and by the way i'm saying this because i used to be like this i used to do this and and i i'm telling you this, and i don't want to be like shame on you it's nothing like that i i really truly feel it's so powerful when you start to say wait a second reflect on what you're doing and say is there a better way is there something that i'm doing wrong or i could do better and there is and there really is if you are uncomfortable talking about anything in your life okay about your feelings i don't feel comfortable talking about my feelings i don't want to cry i don't like getting sad i really want you to own that and say oh shit that's me like first step is say okay 100 percent. i am not comfortable talking about shit okay and then you say well why why not like what is it that and so many times it's like well, you grow up and you, what do you see at home like are is your family open and talking to you and and wanting to know about your feelings hey how do you feel today how what's going on what are you upset about or were they kind of like just get over it <laughs> they're like i don't want to hear about it they're too busy to hear about it and listen i'm like i know that families and my parents were awesome but i know how things can be where everyone's so busy and it's really hard to give space to people to communicate and share so if you've grown up for many years in a place where you're not able to express yourself and not really given any guidance on how to do that and how that looks like, it is your responsibility to say, okay, I didn't see it growing up, but I need to figure this shit out now. Because if you truly want to share your life with somebody, if you really want to be a partner to somebody, like that's it, like right there, you want a partner, you need to be a partner. And to be a partner, you need to be able to be emotionally available. You need to be able to talk about your things. Whatever feelings you have and whatever you've gone through, you should be able to share it. And I feel like I want you to challenge yourself. Like, can that come first before you come first, <laughs> right? Like, can you, can the whole story, can your feelings all come up, you know, and you can actually show who you are? And like fearlessly, like I know that there's so much fear in that because you're like, well, that's going to rock the boat. That's going to scare them away. Like I know I'm good in bed, but I'm, I don't know about if it's what I'm going to say is going to scare them. So like, let me just not say anything. Right. And I want you to lean into 
wait a second, what is the worst that could happen? You show who you are, you express yourself, and if it's your person, they are going to connect with you on a deeper level. They're going to love you. And if they don't love you, if they don't accept you, if they don't lean in to, to support you and hear you and be there for you, you know, if they don't, that's not your person. Perfect. Bye-bye. But if they do, like, I mean, that, that's the power of when you put your guard down, when you are just fearless, when you just even try it out, like seriously, just start being vulnerable as hell. Like wherever you go, you start talking about things, like your feelings, like, you know, even try, practice with a friend, maybe tell them something you have never shared really before. It's just like, sometimes when we've never done something, we're like, Oh, I've never talked about that. That's, it feels uncomfortable. And you're like, I don't want to talk about that kind of stuff, but it is so important. It is so like, I can't tell you enough that the life that you are wanting, that partnership where you guys are so connected and there for each other, it can never happen if you are not emotionally available. And if you're not able to talk about your things, you are, are not ever going to emotionally connect with anybody. You see what I mean? And sometimes we confuse like, oh, well, we had sex and that's amazing. But is it like sex is so much better when you're emotionally connected to that person. Like you actually really see them and hear them for who they are and you're accepting them and they're accepting you. And it's just, crazy love, right? And you're, if you're not actually showing who you are, if you're not actually sharing your feelings and the shit that you've gone through and everyone's gone through shit, right? But through your eyes, it is valuable. Your story is valuable, you know, and, and, and it should be heard, especially when you are being intentional and you want to share your life with somebody that comes first. The, your story comes first. You got to put your heart on your sleeve. And then the sex comes later. You know, and it's hard to say about timeline, you know, but I, I, I always say this, it's like at least a month and at least a month and you're exclusive. But that's if you've been talking about everything and, and anything and you're really emotionally connecting and you're emotionally available, right? So, you know, that could be longer for people definitely not shorter. <laughs> You're like, Oh, can it be like one week for me? Like, no, but like, I want to hear from you. I tell me in the comments on YouTube, or if you're listening on Spotify, Apple, leave a review. Let me know, you know, or answer the questions that are there. I want to hear if this is resonating with you. Are you more comfortable getting in bed and sleeping with someone before you talk about some serious stuff that's, a, you know, you're holding in your heart or are you, and also, I want to know if you're up for the challenge of, wait a second, I don't do it, but I want to do it. And it's going to feel uncomfortable, but I'm going to try. And then report back to me. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. But I know it's going to be amazing. I know it's going to be amazing because even if the person that you are talking to doesn't give a shit and doesn't receive it, doesn't absolutely stick around for it more, they're not your person. And that's clarity. That is gold. You're like, thank you. Okay. Boom. But you know what? It's going to be amazing when you haven't slept with them, you haven't hooked up and been that intimate with them and you just talk to them and you realize, oh, wow, they're not really aligned to anything you're saying. They're not supportive of what you're saying. They're not here for it. Good. It's better to know sooner than later, especially sooner before you sleep with them. All right. So let me know if you're emotionally available and also find me on Instagram, the Jackie Lore. I thank you so much for listening. I really, truly hope that this is resonating with you, helping you on your journey. Share this with someone that you think might actually benefit from hearing this gold advice because it really is. I wouldn't have found my person without doing this myself. And I truly am on a mission to help people find your person okay and so with that being said don't settle for anything less than crazy love because it has to be crazy love or nothing Bye. thank you